Okay, the next step is the appraisal. You wanted to get that inspection done as quickly as possible. So if there was something major wrong with the house, you would not do the appraisal and either get out of the deal or try to renegotiate and then ask for some more time to get the appraisal done and to get the loan going. But let's just say you went in, you inspected the house, you're happy. Now you've ordered the appraisal, the appraiser goes and appraises the house. There are a lot of rules and regulations, so appraisals take longer than they ever have before, and they cost more than they ever did before. So oftentimes you're going to be asking for a credit card number, and you're going to have to pay for that appraisal up front. But now you've had the property appraised. If it comes in low, which sometimes it does, then you can either renegotiate or get out of the deal. The seller hopefully is going to go with the lower price, and let you buy the house at that lower price, they might be jerks about it and ask you to pay the difference. Uh, in that case, you have to decide, are you gonna stick with this deal or not? But make sure you get the appraisal done before the appraisal contingency time is up. If the appraiser has not been out there and the clock is ticking, make sure your realtor writes up an extension for you so that you're not out of contract. And then we'll move to the next step.